I'm, um, I do experimental and improvisation music. Um, usually work with a lot of uh, dance company for um, sometimes doing sound design, ambience noise, um, but also do DJing and electronic music. And also do the sound healing, like um, playing with singing bowls, gong, uh, shooty box, and some percussion, and uh, also piano and uh, found object. My partner Terry Wu, he's doing uh, the video and also the uh, visual and live projection. And I do the music. We have a performance in Busan International Dance uh, Market. We have a piece called uh, Between. Terry is doing the live projection. And there's a dancer from uh, mainland China. And I also got um, an audio visual work, which is for an online exhibition kind of animation but uh, the graphics or the animation is triggered by uh, audio frequencies so I'm, I'm using a software called Super Collider so it's um, programming software so I do the coding I set uh, different sounds with different codes doing a live performance with it how the sound and frequency form the lines uh, or the dots or how it forms uh, 3D shapes become animated with the sound changes inputting different parameters to change like different effects or oscillator or sound envelope the sound is modified in real time and then the uh, Visual is also um, generated in real time. So for digital art, it's more about the, uh, the media and also um, how you produce the artwork. So it's more in the uh, digital format, like, um, like for the files of the media, it's more like, um, like wave and also MP3. Work, workstation like uh, Logic or Ableton Live or Pro Tools and like for the instruments it's more like with the MIDI controller the digital form is more convenient and also um, it's easy to carry for performance uh, you can have lots of uh, synthesizers, drum machine, sequencer with it. Like if it's analog, you need to bring like a big synthesizer with you. But with the uh, software and uh, MIDI controller, you can have like hundreds of uh, synthesizer with you. Just and also like the drum machines and sampling. It's, uh, it's much more easy to do it for live and more possibilities create a more variety of sounds than the analog form. For the analog, you got a bit more, um, I mean, warm sound, um, something that may be uh, unexpected. Like with the circuits, sometimes you find something very interesting that for the digital form, you can um, really get that kind of sound. Because uh, the digital softwares, they are actually um, trying to recreate the analog circuit to produce the sound. But it's actually um, really similar right now, but still there's a tiny difference. I also do a lot of sampling. I often bring the uh, audio recorder with me. So when I walk on the streets, I have um, more sensitive to the sound around me. So when I think there's, a in there's an interesting sound, I would just record it. Like even a bird or the car or the ambience uh, in the back street. So I collect the sound or like water sound, waterfall or 
infrared sound and then uh, uh, it becomes a wave file and then I'll just uh, sometimes I'll play with it with uh, like the uh, tractor which is a DJ um, software different um, effects like um, there's a lot of effects like delay, reverb or even uh, phraser, uh, distortion or the tempo shifting so with the tempo shifting it actually creates a big change on the key of the sound and also of course the tempo, the speed of the sound that's playing and also the EQ is actually a big modification on the sound quality. Um, if there's no digital form or any electronic, I'll do more uh, acoustic live music. Uh, maybe I just use tape, cassette tape to record it. Yeah, for cassette tape it's actually quite interesting but also sometimes they got um, a little hiss, kind of like the uh, a special uh, effects for the sound, like film for uh, taking photo. There's some distortion or hiss on the photo, but it's also kind of a taste. But um, if it's not for recording, I'll do more live with acoustic instruments because. Actually, the acoustics is uh, the best with the original sound. Mm -hmm.